Hello everyone, it's day 98 of President Bola Tinubu's administration and we are tracking developments in line with this Renewed Hope campaign. Thanks for joining us on the program. I am Nifemi Yogunthoye. On Wednesday, the 100th day of President Tinubu's administration, the Presidential Election Petition Court will deliver judgment on the petitions filed by the People's Democratic Party, Labour Party and the Allied People's Party challenging the outcome of the 2023 presidential election. A registrar of the Court of Appeal, Umaru Bangari, in a telephone conversation confirmed the date to TVC News. I'm joined now by Judiciary Correspondent Celestina Area for more on this development. Celestina, you've been following this story for the past six months. A date has now been fixed for the election petition judgment ahead the September 16 deadline. Walk us through the main highlights of the proceedings in the past 170 days. Well, Nifemi, pre-hearing session for the petitions commenced on 8 May. Uh, every petitioner has had the opportunity to present their case before the court. Uh, talking about the Labour Party, the PDP, the APP and the APM. Fortunately, the APP withdrew their petition where they got a hint from the court that that petition ought not to be having fire, talking about um, exclusion or a lawful exclusion of a particular candidate. So the, the, the court right now is left with three petitions out of the Labour Party, the PDP, and the Allied People's Movement. The Allied People's case is on the um, placeholder. They are uh, alleging that the vice president was not supposed to be a placeholder or there is no supervision as a placeholder. So these are the issues, and a date has been fixed, which is on Wednesday. Um, all parties have been notified. And come Wednesday, the tribunal will deliver its judgment. Registrar of the Court of Appeal, the judgment will be televised live to promote transparency and openness. Is there a precedence to this, Felicina? Well, talking about televising the judgment live, but well, we could recall that this was one of the applications brought by the People's Democratic Party, which the Labour Party also brought before the court. At that time, they were asking that the proceedings, the day-to-day -day proceedings of the court be televised live for Nigerians to see what is going on and for those who have, don't have the opportunity to be in the courtroom to watch the proceedings. But they, we know that was not, or that is not rather, the practice of the election petitions court, which is a court of appeal. But uh, 2019, the court uh, gave, uh, gave way for uh, media houses who wish to televise, who wish to come and televise the proceedings. Yeah, but the, the practice there is the, the justices or the members of the panel, their face will be shielded. They will not be televised or they will not be filmed. It's just the lawyers. So the cameras will back the justices and just focus on the lawyers. But we could get audio from what Whenever, whatever they are saying and when they are reading the judgment. So it's more like now a practice because it happened in 2019 and now they are also giving opportunity to media houses to televise the, the, the judgment live. So you're saying we're having the visual this time of the judges? Uh, well, um, it's going to be a long day, give or take, because usually it's a five man panel uh, and headed by Justice Hawuna Samani. And, and it is uh, normally the practice that every member of the panel will have the opportunity to read out their judgment. If it's a unanimous judgment or there's a dissenting judgment, whichever way the panel, each member will have the opportunity to, to, to read his or her own judgment. It's a five-man panel, four men and a lady. So this is what we're expecting on Wednesday. And uh, accreditation has been done again for media, uh, media practitioners who wishes to be in the court premises, but they've advised that persons who do not have business on that day should please stay in their houses and watch the proceedings from a television set. We understand the decision of the Court of Appeal in this regard is not final. What options are available if there is a displaced party? Well, for presidential election petition, uh, the Court of Appeal, which is the election petitions tribunal, the first instance of any presidential election petition, allows for 180 days. So far, uh, the judgment delivered on the 6th will be in 170 days. But there is still an opportunity for any aggrieved party, whichever way the judgment goes, 
to approach the Supreme Court and the, the law provides the Supreme Court to have 60 days to decide on the petition or the appeal rather. So we believe that if the judgment is delivered or when it's delivered on Wednesday, it will be made readily available to any party or whoever decides that, okay, they want to explore their options and law to the Supreme Court. So the, 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 the Presidential Election Petitions Court, which is the Court of Appeal, is not the final arbiter of the Presidential Election Petition. Judiciary Correspondent Celestina Area, live for us in Abuja. Uh, we're looking forward to Wednesday when that big decision will be announced.